SmackDown tonight, live on Fox. The Rock is going to be there. It's Memphis, Tennessee. You know he likes to sing. Uh, what have you thought about The Rock here? He seems to be bigfooting Roman Reigns, which is seemingly part of the story here. He is sucking all of the air out of the room right now because he is The Rock. What have you thought about the uh, last couple of weeks here and about all these social media promos that he's cutting away here? I think I, as you were saying, he's done, or as I was saying before the show, fell apart again, once again. He's doing the right thing, stepping aside for Cody. And it seems like he's having a ton of fun doing so. As you mentioned, he is kind of big footing Roman Reigns. When they are both in there together, he looks to be the bigger star. I mean, the guy is gigantic in stature, physical stature, in his persona, and it comes across. Now, Roman Reigns does have, have kind of like a different aura about him, more of like a sports, I guess, star, whereas The Rock is more like a movie star, you know, if I had to draw kind of a difference between the two of them. Mike, I wonder... You know, they are in Tennessee. You mentioned if The Rock's going to sing. But I'm really wondering if he took time on the way down in Tennessee to stop at the number one most visited national park in the country, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, so he can make some more jokes about maybe the Tennessee people having no teeth and smoking some more crack. <laughs> <laughs> See, he was big on that in, in Arizona. Now, you were just recently in those parts. Did you see on your trip to the Grand Canyon, did you see a lot of meth labs out there in the in the desert and a, and a whole bunch of crack smokers strewn about like The Rock said about Arizona last week? I saw a huge crack, but it was made by the Colorado River. Mm. No meth houses from what I saw, but... Hey, maybe The Rock was in a different part. Certainly not in Scottsdale, I'll tell you that much. No, There's no, me no meth houses there. <laughs> Didn't, you know where The Rock is also not going to be, it looks like? Saudi Arabia. Uh, WWE scheduled to make its return to Saudi Arabia for a PLE pay-per-view premium live event it feels so weird saying that still but got to get used to it saturday may 25th dave Meltzer reported last week that while a lot of variables and factors were in play wwe obviously wanted the rock on that event Meltzer noted that there had definitely been a push to get The Rock to work at least one of WWE Saudi events this year. But in an update in today's Wrestling Observer newsletter, which is up for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com, Meltzer writes that Rock's movie filming schedule rules him out of the May 25th show in Saudi Arabia. What movie is that? It is The Smashing Machine, May 1st. So... We are getting that now. It's not just talk. It's coming to fruition. It is The Rock playing MMA legend Mark Kerr. The Rock Seven Bucks Productions is partnering with A24 Films, the same people that put out uh, the Iron Claw Von Eric's movie as well. So, you know, we're going to get The Rock and Roman Reigns. We have to get The Rock and Roman Reigns at some point down the line here, don't we? I mean, this year... Do you think that this could be something that they could push off till, till next year's WrestleMania? It seems to me that, you know, yes, The Rock can do whatever he wants at this stage of his life, be financially solvent and all that sort of stuff for generations, but it's going to be hard for me to believe that a guy his stature is not going to be involved in some movies here, which obviously takes out the chance of him wrestling. Is it this year or never when it comes to The Rock and Roman Reigns? I think a lot of people were of that mindset up until perhaps January of this year. And it seems that there was a, a seismic shift, obviously, with the removal of Vince McMahon. And now The Rock, being on the board of directors, has a more vested interest in what's going on with the WWE and TKO. They have a huge opportunity for all this synergy not only with the ufc but with all the other connections that endeavor has 
in the world of entertainment. And, you know, maybe he is now planning on sticking around for a long time. You know, maybe he views, maybe he doesn't see a ceiling perhaps for what he can do in the WWE and how much money he can make. I thought that it was going to be this year or never, but my mind has now changed. If that's the case, say that he does decide that I'm going to be doing this on the board thing and paying more attention to WWE and doing more things or at least leaving his schedule open to it. Does that, if that's the case, does that put any doubt in your mind at all on Cody Rhodes winning the title at WrestleMania? Do you think that there's even a small chance that if this story is going to continue with the rock and roman reigns that maybe cody again they they somehow is that even possible at this point for cody rhodes not to win the thing and then still come out okay with people wanting to see him continue this chase because this is not magnum ta chasing rick flair in 1986 where you can take three years and maybe make a title change later i have a feeling at some point the fans and people will turn on Cody and the story in the whole nine yards. Is there any shot in hell that they do not change the title at Mania? Cody's got to win that belt. Are you he kidding me, Mike? I, Are you kidding me? I know. He has I know. to. I would think so. But He's if this got story, to. But if this story, look, the, and the way the whole thing is set up, obviously, it's that The Rock and Cody are going to be in coots and we'll get a reveal on what was whispered you know, on that one show where Cody gave up the title and, you know, the title shot and walked away before changing his mind again, you know, those, those lines will probably be connected there, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause it's like, to me, I, I don't, at that point, I, I, you, I'm not saying you, you slap the Stardust costume back on Cody, but I think it would be almost <laughs> impossible, you know, for people to rally for a third year in a row after you cried your mama, all this stuff. And, and, you know, can you fail again? Can you fail again and continue Please, to make it work? Please, no. <laughs> I would hope not. You I would... could not continue to make it work. And Roman Reigns and The Rock does not need the title behind no. it. No. No, you know doesn't. what I mean? One thing that I, and I could be wrong, but The Rock acknowledged Roman Reigns as his tribal chief. He didn't acknowledge him as the head of the table. Did he? He did not. You know, so I think that there's still a lot, obviously, to be told in that storyline. I think if you actually take the title away, they can tell this story between the the blood related families, the two families joined by a blood oath generations ago. They could tell this story how they want and put a real focus on their ancestry and you know, with the title involved, you know, obviously the title kind of takes a precedent. So I think maybe it'll turn out better uh, for them in the long run. 1950 pop culture quiz. The Black moved from New York to San Francisco in Giants. 1957. Holy sh... <laughs> a sports question? A sports ball question. Brian got it right. Do you know what sports? Okay, well, that's right. <laughs> the Black... Corporation introduced jute boxes that could play 45 and RCA. Wait a minute, I gotta see if I have the answer. Hound a dog. <laughs> no, that's the wrong question. Hound dog. It's an Elvis Presley song. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Thank God we did this. <laughs> well, what's the answer? What was the question? <laughs> hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.